I will say Mojo. Uh, Marvelous Marv. I mean, I mean that's a that's a that's a long list. I used to listen to J- WJZZ, you know, and you know a lot of people say, well, dang, it. yeah, this is my other nigga right here. Um, you know, our radio stations were quite different from other radio stations. There was really no such thing as a. We had soul stations. Don't get me wrong. That was really on the AM. But like radio stations today, they either play one genre or middle. You know, Detroit back, I mean, they play some B-52s and come back with some Peter Frampton and the hot new George Clinton is in. You know, we didn't have segregated radio stations. Don't get me wrong. Detroit is an all-black city. Don't get it mis- misled. But that don't mean we listen to that. Hell, I thought Kraftworks was four niggas. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> Until I bought that album. You know, and because Trans Europe Express used to be, like we say, a skate jam. Now, that was classy. That was a classic motherfucking record. And we thought that shit came from out of Detroit for the longest. It wasn't until, what, uh, the Robots album? And we looked on there, and we we was like, well, what do these niggas got all this makeup on for? (laughs) And we thought that was some clown shit. You know what I'm saying? We was cool with that. And then we saw videos, and we were like, these motherfuckers is from... Yeah, we had no clue, but we still don't love, love the music. What I'm trying to say, before we even knew where they was from, color had nothing to do with it. We just loved the music. 